no mercy. Taliban publicly lashes over 60 people. The Taliban's harsh rule in Afghanistan continues to draw international condemnation as the United Nations has spoken out against the public flogging of over 60 people, including more than a dozen women, by the ultra-conservative regime. In a scathing statement, the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan condemned the, quote, Taliban's use of corporal punishment and called for the respect for international human rights obligations. Despite promises of moderation, the Taliban has reverted to the draconian punishments of their previous reign in the 1990s, publicly executing individuals and subjecting men and women alike to cruel lashings for alleged crimes like adultery and theft. With the world watching in horror, the Taliban's disregard for human rights raises grave concerns about the future of Afghanistan under their brutal regime. Um, and lest we forget, the Taliban announced I don't, within the past three months, if I remember correctly, that they're just going to full-blown bring back stoning women. For a few years there, they were pretending like they weren't. And then, and then within the past year... They're like, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna just straight up bring back stoning women. Um, and I wanted to talk about this, and I know I say this every time, but it's just worth repeating that I don't want us to forget about what people in Afghanistan go through because of the nature of the government and also how the rest of the world with well, not the rest of the world, U.S. and NATO aligned forces withdrew from Afghanistan. They're is very little that we can do with the current state of their government and the regime, etc. But that being said, that doesn't mean that we should just forget about them, right? So I still want to talk about what these men and women are experiencing and going through instead of just just throwing up our hands and saying, oh, whatever, well... Or that bullshit statement where it's like, oh, well, it's their culture anyways, and, you know, so who cares? It's not okay. It's not okay. Um, Armin, what do you think about this? I'm going to say something that is going to be very... A lot of people are going to get angry that I say this. And maybe you don't, get, you, you don't want me to say this <laughs> I'm as bracing well. myself. I don't know. I, okay, so uh, here's the thing. The Taliban... You, there is no solution for Afghanistan in the foreseeable future. And the Taliban, uh, nobody can and should attempt to remove Taliban from Afghanistan for the foreseeable future. Um, and the reason, unfortunately, for that, again, unfortunate, and I know this is very, very controversial to say, but it's unfortunately the truth is that Many, many people in Afghanistan, and I would maybe even probably say most people in Afghanistan, want this, right? And I know this is going to be hard to accept because we get there's so many people that don't want this, and we see their videos, and we see their, uh, their asking for help, asking, we see, we see young girls crying about not being able to go to school, crying about the fact that their future is ruined. And we see these videos and, and they're there and we should, and it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy, it's a disaster for all the people in Afghanistan that don't want this. But unfortunately, they are the minority. Okay, the, the, the Taliban right now is the natural government they have the power because they are what people want. They are the natural government of Afghanistan. They are what naturally would be the government of Afghanistan if there is nobody else forcing Afghanistan to, to pick anything else. And, and I'm now going to say something else that is going to get me into trouble even more because I'm an Iranian. And me saying this is going to make a lot of people angry with me. The reason why the Islamic government in Iran is an unnatural government for Iranian people is because the Iranian people don't want Sharia law. Iranian people don't want an Islamic government. But the Taliban is the natural government of Afghanistan because the Afghani people want that. 
and that's mostly not all of them and that's the main that's the big difference right now between iran and afghanistan and if you deny that then you're going to be part of the problem because then you're going to provide solutions that are not going to work i didn't see anything to get mad at there you didn't you didn't lie yeah yeah it's just it's it's a a very bitter pill to swallow it's a very bitter pill to swallow but that's what all the evidence suggests um like what uh shami is saying saying is it wrong that i have very little sympathy for the majority of the afghan population minus those who are working against them and desperate to get out because when it came to any census they wanted sharia see the pew research center they were in the highest percentage in the world here it is now in the pure seventh century form well i mean it's hard to have sympathy for people who choose uh, values and uh, methods that actually ends up ruining their lives but we should try to have sympathy regardless and i wouldn't blame you if you fail to have sympathy because we're just human but we should attempt to have sympathy even for people with bad ideas because they're people because they are bad having bad ideas doesn't make you deserving of misery you know what i mean like um it's the it's human nature to be fooled by such things um I would like us to have sympathy for anybody, for anything and anybody that is capable of suffering. I would like us to have sympathy for them when they are suffering, even if they, even if they brought them upon themselves. Um, it's a hard ask, and I know it's sometimes impossible to do, but I think it's good. At, it's it's good to attempt to have sympathy for anything that could experience misery. Um, Especially but, when you consider the extreme level of informational control that any child born in that region is subjected to. Yes, but again, sorry about this phone. Again, having having sympathy, that doesn't mean that we should um, do anything here because a lot of the solutions are impossible. The uh, Taliban is, you know, the hegemony of Taliban is the thing, for, you know, if you want to do something, it has to be a lot more long term. It has to be based on um, education, e- education over the internet. Like this is an inv- if you want to save Afghanistan, I think the current generation is a lost cause, right? If you want to save save Afghanistan, you have to work for the future of of Afghanistan, and you have to come up with long term planning, and it has to be based on uh, you know education, education both based on you know skills and also cultural education, like setting the right values. So I think the future of Afghanistan, if it, it's a, if it, if we have a better future for Afghanistan, um, our investment has to be over the internet, over education with um, AI, and also um, satellite internet, satellite internet, mm-hmm. education over the internet, investing in the children for the better future for Afghanistan, trying to get them out of this barbaric mindset that most um, Afghani people are. Uh, inflicted by that's that you know we have to save the the the, the children that haven't even born yet i don't even know if we have any hope for the current children i'm talking about the generation that hasn't even been born yet that's what i'm that's what i think that we should be working for um also another sign that this is the taliban is the natural government of afghanistan is that when the taliban was just taking over one city after city all the soldiers that were supposed to fight them just just let them right through because they understood that this country belongs, you know, to Taliban. They understood that. They weren't resisting. So why would you go fight for a country where the citizens of that country are not fighting for it themselves? You know, mm-hmm. they, this, the soldiers, all the people who had the guns to be able to resist the Taliban, when the, on those days where Taliban was taking city after city, they just stood, da- they just stood down because they understood the force that is the Taliban. Um, there was also this comment by Shami saying, you're not wrong. I guess thinking about it further, I have sympathy for those little girls born into that world. I have seen so many videos of Afghan girls sobbing over how there is no greater punishment than being born female. Or I saw this, oh God, there there was this one video of this girl who was crying about little girl, about how animals have more rights than she does. She's like, the livestock are treated better 
than I am just having a breakdown. It's so heartbreaking. Um, Can I just clarify something? And mm -hmm. I, this is hard for me to say all of these things that I said, because I, I speak Persian, right? Because I'm from Iran. And a lot of Afghans, a lot of people from Afghanistan speak Persian, right? And because my other, my activism is in English and in Persian. And when it comes to atheist activism in Persian, there's Iranian atheist activists and there are Afghanistani Persian, uh, Persian speaking atheist activists. So in my atheist activism in Persian, we come across, I come across a lot of people from Afghanistan that are atheist activists and secular activists. So I meet these people online and in my activism. I know these people. So a lot of people might think like I'm denying the existence of these people, but I work with them. I see them. I consume their content. So, and they are inside Afghanistan. Like I'm talking about people who are atheists and secular and liberal activists who are still in Afghanistan and while being ruled by Taliban. So I know that they're there, but I also know how stats work. Um, I know that they are the minority. I'm not denying the existence of these brave warriors for, of, you know, of enlightenment values. I do know them. I know that they're there, but they are the minority, unfortunately. Yeah. Thank you for acknowledging that, Armin. Um, I, I think it'd be interesting for you to uh, enjoy, excuse me, uh, uh, respond to this point from uh, Luffy while I, while, I, while I go to the bathroom. He's saying, silly point, Armin, the Arab world did not give up slavery because they wanted to. They did it because we forced them. How would you respond to that? Um, well, the, the Arab world was... Okay, so I don't know. This is not relevant to what I'm saying because the Arab world... I'm talking about removing Taliban from Afghanistan. Is that how is that comparable? The sl slavery was an international trade, and the global powers they controlled international trade, and they were able to uh, you know force countries into not selling and being involved in this international trade. I mean, for example, a more comparable thing to slavery would be if if the international world could use this military force to force to for to stop the trade of you know uh, opium coming out of Afghanistan. That would be a more relevant. Uh, that would be a more comparable example. But going into a country and changing the government and forcing the people to change the government um, that is completely in contradiction to what the people want over there is something else. And if you want to actually give, a, let me give, give if you want to uh, respond, like push back against what I'm saying, I think a better example would be uh, Japan, where United States, for example, defeated Japan and they went in and they actually literally wrote their co constitution for them and they decided what their laws would be and Japan is better for because of it. And also Germany after World War II. So your example is not a good example, but if you wanted to push back, back against me, that would be a better example, right? Um, the problem with those examples is that uh, the Japanese and Germans had, the, had cultures and beliefs that was wrong, but it was more receptive to what age of, it was easier to go, like the Japanese people, Islam is a much more, resi uh, more resistant to Islamic values. Like the, if you have countries like, for example, like Afghanistan or Iraq, like Syria, in uh, trying to force enlightenment values upon the people there is a lot more, more difficult than doing that with, I don't know, Japan after World War II. It's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more contradictory. The people's values, I mean, you have a, you have a death cult. You have like Japanese, they had values that were bad and barbaric, and they're now a lot better now after World War II. But it wasn't so fundamentally the opposite of the goals of the other people of the earth for them not to be able to be receptive to enlightenment values. But when it comes to Islamic values, the, the, it, it, it's so in con uh, the opposite of what 
pe- other people in, our, uh, in the world are even trying to achieve. That's why just going there and changing the constitution is not going to, people are not going to accept that. Eventually, they're going to have an allergic response to it unless you change something fundamentally about the culture and the way people think there. That, that's, that's the challenge. So that's one reason why it's not going to work in a country like Afghanistan. And secondly, the world powers today are not interested in going and telling people that Islam is wrong and they have to change their Islamic ways. And that is, if you wanted to do replicate something like what United, the Western powers after World War II did in Germany and in Japan, it actually, that's what it takes. You cannot go tell people to... Oh, respect women um, and not push back against Islam. Like the United States, for example, had no problem pushing back against Nazism, had no problem pushing back against communism, had no pushback, uh, uh, had no problem pushing back against uh, Japanese ideology during World War II. They were completely, uh, f- they, had, they, had, they went against those ideologies full force, no problem. They, the Japanese wrote a constitution. The Americans came and looked at it like, yeah, no, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. They threw it away and they just wrote it for them. And like, this is now your constitution. Your ideas are backwards. Your ideas are not gonna work. Show me the world powers today that are gonna go to Afghanistan and say, like, yeah, Islam is. We're going to basically remove Islam from this land. Show me the appetite for that. Like, show me which world power is going to do that. Because if you do anything short of that then you're not going to, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to just introduce a constitution to Afghanistan and now everything is donkey dory and now they're going to have better values. You have to go for the root and the root is Islam and no world power is going to come and say, like, take a position against a world religion like Islam. Mm-hmm. Also, um, tribal and clan structure. That's a, that's a different conversation. Um, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Um, do we have any super chats? Oh yes, we do. Um, Kush Jindal gave a super chat saying, "Oh, so this is in regard to our geeking out in our last segment about Hindu gods, saying you guys should try Kali, and we have we have tried, yes, we have tried Kali in so many different ways that I'm not going to get into. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that is a um." <laughs> That is deep. That it's not even deep. That is atheist republic lore. Yeah, and I will let the longtime <laughs> members explain to Kushinal the lore. Not only, not only have we tried Callie, tr- Callie has tried us, and she has been, <laughs> <laughs> and she's very happy. <laughs> and, yeah, and we we we're nothing yeah. but appreciators of her yes. divine sexiness. Yeah, nihilist antinatalist is saying, I miss the Kali drama days. <laughs> yeah. That's when Susie was still new to Atheist Republic, and that was my baptism. My baptism yes. by fire. <laughs> Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube? Blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind. 